Probably is just going to try to again once again have a uh, two solid lanes, bare minimum. Try uh, to win Warden both man. lanes. Play the vision game. Oh, they banned the Arc Warden. An annoying split push hero. So I think this tells me that IG thinks that they're going to be able to beat Cloud9 in a straight up normal game. Yes. They are trying to remove the heroes that might make the game very di different and uh, surprising in certain areas. Because if you're playing against Arc Warden, there are a lot of factors that you can't account for. And a lot of teams just don't burst the hero regularly. It's hard to play against these like creative carries that you don't burst or get to get practice. Yeah. Maybe it's time. Against. Maybe it's time for like Oracle <laughs> against Bat. It would be nice to have something to cancel mm. the Bat's initiation. Could help against Night Stalker's silence too, but also Night Stalker will act as a yeah, counter Night Stalker the is, Oracle. Yeah, Oracle counter in some yeah. ways. Very difficult to play against him. But so I think most of the position five heroes are quite annoying for them to deal with Night Stalker. Perhaps Silencer could be an option. Disruptor, interesting. Uh, Disruptor is like... Uh, it's it's okay for catching the Night Stalker later because yeah. you can't flap away to safety because of the Glimpse and the Thunder Strike. So catching the Night Stalker is good with Disruptor. But in the early phase, I think if they run at you in a dual lane, say Night Stalker plus Batrider dual lane, Disruptor is gonna struggle in that lane. It's quite yep. difficult. At least his nuke is pretty strong at, come at level 1, but... You don't do well against two heroes. Like one hero, you can zone the off lane very well with the Thunder Strike. But once it becomes a dual lane, again, two against two, then the scenario changes a lot for the Disruptor. Let's see if that will be the, the dual lane of Cloud9. They're a team who have run Batrider in a support role. We even saw EG uh, running a five position Batrider. I am for crit. not a fan of that. I'll be frank with you. Okay. Very. I mean, there are games that it could work because you're trying to mislead the enemy into thinking that this is what role, that what role, and then they didn't account for this. Like, if you're making way, let's say, for a cheese pick, like a bad rider, a brute mother off lane, then I think I can still understand that. You know, like you're making way for some cheese pick coming up to mm -hmm. demote the bad rider to a support position. But Partner? otherwise, yeah, only to, it's only worth demoting if you can get a, a big advantage. Partner's right? very good against the current three heroes. The ward is on each against Sanking, Park, and Disruptor. Nether ward owns them. Yep. Gives them some push. We've seen that push factor be a common theme in the Cloud9 drafts. And he has a very high win rate in the event yep. so far. I think we saw one loss yesterday only for Nightmare. Yeah, only one loss. 22 deaths, was it? Very <laughs> rough game. It'll be a jug for burning. Very IG's drafts, so they always feel very vanilla. You know, they never pick up any crazy or just new like, picks. They always just stick with the just old. Just like IG vitality. <laughs> tried, tested, proven heroes. You notice stable that stable lanes. The two IG team teams fight. pick very alike, and yeah. the two LGD teams also pick very alike. Similar. I mean, they have different <laughs> picks, but like very similar style. It's always yeah, like man. strong support, good full position. Make sure they have two initiators. Make sure they have a stable carry. Um, and then, like you say, the right balance of push, initiation, and team fight. They, they never Roshan. feel like they they never go all in on one area. You look at Cloud9, they went all in on push. They had no, last game they had no catch. They had some team fight, but not much. It was all about push, push, push. That is what makes games exciting, right? When a team decides to, let's do this, we're gonna all in on push, you know? If everyone does the vanilla thing, then games wouldn't be yeah. as exciting. I mean, with IG, they don't even, they're not even a team who will, not even talking about all-in, but they won't even, like, try, like, or bust out, like, a new pick or something, whereas we're seeing, like, Clinks picked up by Secret, we're seeing the Pugnant picks come out for some teams, we're seeing these unorthodox heroes, the Arc Wardens. IG's not a team I really ever think of as being like, ooh, they picked that hero, that's, that's crazy. There's a Meepo, you know? They just, you know, they stick to the, they stick to the vanilla stuff. Cookie cutter so strategy. What is Mr. Mao going to play here? Heroes that are good against Juggernaut. Sven, perhaps? Sven is not. Yeah, Sven is not bad. The walk right. Oh, where's Pugna going? Is he playing the position the Pugna? Position 5 Pugna. Uh, oh, position 5 position Pugna. Position 1? <laughs> I was thinking position 1, you were thinking position no, 5. I was, we were, I was thinking Pilot Dive Pugna. We were on very different tracks there, but. It, you, you, you could technically do it. Like it it's uh, still a flexi pick. Yeah. Now. I think. Because you, the hero is very good just with the ward in the team fights, because it's very hard for Sanking Park and Disruptor to play against the ward. Very annoying. Decrep could be very good against Yeah, Decrep is good against Juggernaut. I think it's viable to play him support this game. Silence of Band suggesting 
could suggest anything. We could see Envy play Silence for one or five. Silence are bad either. Most of the Chinese teams think it's a very potent. They rate the combination very highly. Yep. As for what IG, they are looking likely for an off laner, but potentially a four position. What is Mr. Mao going to play? I think it's going to be some something funny, like something weird. Like it's that gonna is be a diff very much a trend with some of his hero uh, picks. Tarot Blade is not weird, but... Naga is something he's tried a few times, but not had success I, I, with. I don't like Naga that yeah. much, though. Yeah. Like you want to band. pair with a Pugna, something kind he of self-sufficient. He might pick like some Luna, I don't know, like some push. Necrophos, maybe? Luna, Necrophos. They banned Anti-Mage. Necrophos. Suggesting Pugna might be a core, or they're going to pick some kind of... Uh, yeah, that's true. That is true. Then pick what? Shaman and push. What's going on? Uh... Yeah. Cogs are turning in our brains right now, guys. No, what, what's happening actually? So, so Enigma's got right, no, off lane. Rider's support with Night Stalker. And yep. Pugna is carry. Correct. So Enigma's off lane. Pilot I bat, AUI Night Stalker. They issue supports. Are they actually. Envy's gonna be playing Pugna. Are they actually doing that? MSS will so... be playing off lane Enigma. <laughs> that, is, that is what I'm it's getting at. It's very confusing. Point. It is very confusing. It took us a while to get there. The two heroes we thought might go off lane, the Bat, the NS, no, it's neither of them. They're supports. So, I mean, we've seen, obviously, actually, we probably we expected I, AUI Night Stalker. I mean, I guess they don't have any cancel for BKB Black Hole. What is that? They don't have... Oh, uh, I mean, they could hmm. pick They could pick a cancel now, like some Beastmaster or some Chrono, uh, Face Void. Nah, probably not. What, 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 what can they do here? Legion Commander? Magnus, even Magnus. the Mag Jug? Oh, Mag Jug. Yeah, I actually like this game if you go Mag Jug. It's not going to be a. I mean, there's some tempo coming out of Cloud9 with the Pugna, but. Whoa, they get a mid hero. That was so unexpected. It was Puck a, off lane. It's a off lane. They want a pushing hero. Because DP is a good matchup against the uh, Templar Assassin. Hey, why picks up the Enigma? We're going to see a jungling Enigma. That was also okay. So it's not what we broke. Hey, what's, Highlight what's I going on? <laughs> nah, what is going on? So support night soccer. I mean, I that that in itself is not weird, but it's maybe weird because you'd expect AUI to play it. But he's playing the greedy jungle enigma while Pi has to play a five position night stalker. No, Jackie is playing TA. Jackie's uh -huh. TA. Whoa! I did not see that bit. Uh, I am done, Parker. You know. Cloud9. What is happening? So they have a jungle. Commentators baffled. So they have like a. Cloud9's ability to pick heroes. So they have a jungling. I mean, they're gonna have a tough lane, right? If the Sand King and Park goes and pressure. Look, look. DP's gonna beat they TA. Saw. Okay, they saw. But DP's gonna beat TA. Here we go. This is, this is what we uh, it, mostly wow, figured. Okay. Yeah, this is what we th thought of this Okay, up. this is. MSS still... offlane Enigma, mid TA. Safe lane Pugna. Okay, this is believable. This is believable. Bad okay, Night Stalker. I mean, we thought Pi would be bad in AUI Night Stalker. They just swapping it. That's that's fine. This is what we, you know, reason together. But still, they're gonna. Okay, with an off lane. Okay, it's not so bad with an off lane Enigma. Now this is normal. This is normal. This is back to normal. Mostly. I mean, it's still weird to see like the support bat, but that is something that has come out of Cloud9 before, and even we've seen other teams try it out mm. as well. AUI will instantly get up there to do some warding. We'll see if Burning can find him. I don't know what to tell you, Parker. I'm not sure what's going on. But I think that laning wise, Nice Stalker and Bat is actually quite strong in the laning if they do this to sub those support. So I think Cloud9, because you don't need to help MSS, he's an Enigma. So you can focus on winning the mid and bottom lane and break even top. Potential of doing very well in all three lanes this game for Cloud9. Correct. So that's going to be the case for IG. They've got some strong supports too. The Sand King with boots, the Disruptor. Uh, I think some compared to there. Cloud9, Sand King is not as strong as the Bat and Night Stalker. Okay. Oh, is he actually going to be in trouble? No, I don't think so. Yeah, so. Napalm could come out, but he's got boots, so more than okay. Four heroes were there though. Envy. Ah, uh, this Juggernaut got trolled. He bought Magic Stick at level 1. <laughs> well, he saw <laughs> He's not even a Bat Rider on his lane. Yeah, did you not I see think the Bat is not going to come top. He's going to play mid. Yeah, yeah but... curious to see. So I guess they're going to do a lot of stacking for the TA. Play mid and stack, 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 stack both Ancients. That sounds like something C9 would do. 
Staccarino, Staccarino, and clear. That is a very C9 way of playing Dota. Agreed. I mean, it's kind of good, right? Because if you look at IG, they don't have the heroes to steal your ancients. You can't really... Like, they will be playing a very economical game. Win their lanes. Lanes and economy, lanes, economy, lanes, economy. Yep. Alright. We'll see how these lanes kind of unravel here. It will be the four positions focusing their attention around the mid lane. Again, these dual lanes mid pilot, I will be helping out supporting the safe lane. And the Enigma denying the creeps from the top. It's like, nice magic stick, Juggernaut. Yeah. <laughs> OP's like, I would like a magic stick now, actually, guys. <laughs> See a right come out early on. AUI with the napalm should be okay oh, here. Oh, five OP. stacks. Yeah, that hurts. Needs to be careful. Doesn't want to take too many more right clicks from AUI. But does have a salve coming out as he realizes his oh, career. Bat has to be right. careful though. Sanking has another bar strike. Yep. So other lanes, I think, like I said, he's gonna he's gonna do okay in this kind of laning phase. Pull the wave back. I mean, they didn't block the camp, so that would be not so good for Enigma. Like generally, when you see off lane enemies, the two, the pool camps and the mid camp, you want to block both of it, so the enemy can pull the lane back. So bot lane, let's see how is the puck doing. Puck's getting experience, not getting too much farm because it's a night stalker. Puck lane, it's quite difficult for him. But Sanking is on the way to maybe try to pick the puck off here. Maybe they can. He's coming in, he did manage to cancel Envy's clarity. Oh, maybe they can. Boka hits he the fire strike and Pugna, yeah, very squishy here. Here, gonna go to TP out or. Not going to be enough damage, so XXX holds onto it. <laughs> Good play from Envy. Oh my god, if he died there, that would be... <laughs> so bad. Yeah, if you TP as you die as a carry, you can't. You have to then make the walk of shame back to lane. Oh, here comes he might just be the dead Bat Rider. Here. has a level 1 Malefice. Yeah, Firefly Napalm is going to find the first blood onto IG's Q. Top lane. Good move here by AoE2000. So he's gonna get did he get a stack off before that? Uh no, just just came over for the kill, so no stacks yet. But first blood definitely very very helpful for him. Bunch of items already in his stash. And this lane is gonna be tough for Fata. Yeah, this if, is if the bat is big, on him. Big reason why they want to pick this death profit is probably because of this mid matchup. Yeah. He has still a very good amount of CS because Bat was helping him all the way just now, but So he's gonna try and stack any one ancient soon. OP's low HP. Good damage here onto the He wants he just wants to stack now, like 250 for he's gonna stack the ancients. Yep. Um stack ancient, nice stalker's gonna be still playing bot, maybe gonna get a TP fairly soon, night face is kicking in. Do they have observers up? Yeah, Bat Rider has an observer. So you wanna place the next ward with the somewhere maybe in the jungle so that the night stalker can maybe use it to get a pick off later, night face. And bot lane sanking has an all of venom, he's also setting up a kill on the partner get in there or not. The side pull, XSX is baiting here. Is he going to orb himself back? It looks like they weren't on the same page. Provoker was thinking about going in for a kill. Has the caustic as well, but Puck did not feel safe going in for that one. Yeah, it doesn't have a lot of mana. Only one orb. So Night Face kicking in 30 seconds. Mid lane, Bad Rider swooping in from the side. Oh, Provoker goes in for the stun. Bottom lane. They really want this internal levy. He's got another TP. He still has a salve. Yeah, he's got a salve, and there is another stun on Boka. Blast. Harass them back a little bit here. Four minute runes will be oh, coming night up. Nighttime. Nighttime and runes. This is fun time. Nighttime, fun time for Stalker. Um, there's a watch here around the Ancients area. Bad Rider won't make it in time to stack, but he's going to control the rune. Gets the invis, Sanking oh, had the... They might dive me though here. They might dive me though here. Sanking is there. Pilot Eye swooping on in as well. I have a good rune here. Invis is pretty good. The nice Boca Stalker has one void. Yeah, they're gonna go. Down with the Barrow Strike here. The Spirit Siphon, Pilot Eye. You get too low here, but Boku just trying to hug his tower. AUI with the second Spirit Siphon getting brought low. This may actually be enough to kill him. The right oh, click. Okay. Down. <laughs> that was so much damage. That is some good defensive play, but Boku showing his prowess in that four position role. Good start for him. His sanking has been very active on the map, even though it only just now finds his first. Oh, DP is still losing out in the lane. Huh? I kind of thought that after the bat, I guess whatever the bat did in the first two waves was enough for Fata to just pull ahead. 
the whole time. How DP will be able to catch that up. But going for the, like the early Aquila boots, not getting any bottle or anything. He's going for like more of a, a lane dominating type build. Yeah, three stacks of ancients available. SDA is gonna get really fast. Why? The OP who is just trying to get to the shrine to use it. Do so successfully. See. Scouting, Still a pretty good move for Awe there, making him use the shrine. Crossing yeah. it out. Um, night time is fun time. One observer at the entrance, one observer in the jungle here. They have pretty good wards down to control and limit their farm. Juggernaut has to, I think, help his team soon though, once he gets his Omni. Maybe one uh, one more wave to go. Maybe Creeps. like that, that mana boost item we've seen before. Yeah, that's the rotate. stats. You need the stats, yeah. He yeah. needs that Ring of Aquila. He doesn't have a Mango, so he's gonna need like either an upgraded one or Aquila. Yeah. He's got it queued up, but he'll need the, a bit more farm to get there. Bot lane though, like Palada is trying to set up a flank onto XXS on the puck. And it is the siege creep, so you see MV pushing out the lane. His bas his Basilus is already turned on. So it's very clear that their intention is to take the tower now. Yeah, they love to push around their siege creeps here. Realizing they're coming in, he does manage to get the orb and the jaunt out. Pylide did not have any points in the silence. The tower yet. should still be down. Yeah, they'll get the tower, which was what they came for. But they Can I actually get something in return? Top lane? Uh, they call out MSS. Get it back. Q may actually die for this one. The idol on damage he needs oh, in the hero. Oh, he goes for the deny oh, and he gets creep. it. Neutrals deny the kill. Oh. Burning Meemaw, killing MSS. That, that is sucks. Parker, that very sucks. unfortunate. Yeah, the idol on shot a volley of hits at the neutral. I think he cancelled that. He didn't get oh, the... He he, I think he cancelled one of the right clicks. I'm not too sure about that, but it looked like he could have uh, hit the disruptor with another wave of uh, either one right clicks there. But, That's so. like through ultimate mid. I imagine that was to fight Fata, who to have gotten fairly low. But ultimately did not go down there. OP will get some damage oh, on this tower. Here comes Pylodai. He's going to heal from the ultimate though. I think OP yeah, he probably just wants to get the hell out of there. But they already got the tier 1 airbot, so still uh, something already done here for Cloud9. They're going to use the shrine, are they going to smoke up after this or they're just going to move? I guess they're going to move to mid to take the tower with the partner. Sanking on the other hand, oh stack, Aoi. I'm going to make my own stack and I'm going to steal your stacks. <laughs> Not a, a bigger stack, but at least taking some fun. Oh, this is too annoying. Aoi may actually go down here. The shrine coming up, Aoi is, yeah, it's like, you want to do that? Well, we're going to punish you. Now he probably just, yeah, he's going for the last right click. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> Q got it! <laughs> Q gets the Satyr, says. Oh. Naughty, naughty boy. Trying to steal our farm? I don't think so, mate. Cheeky little play from Aoi, he's gonna get punished. I will never forget the scene where the sniper and SF, remember RTZ against MV? Where M. Envy was good. <laughs> Remember that scene? Envy <laughs> yeah. was gonna die and he was yeah. last hitting on RTZ deny the creeps. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and he, then kill him. <laughs> he knows he's dead so he turns to yeah, go for the last hits. That was hysterical. Well that was quite a long time ago, like two years yeah. ago. Not exact one you're talking about. <laughs> Burning. Top hits uh, low on mana. I don't after think that I'll kill. ever forget that part. <laughs> you know, it's like Envy's making this next level play where it's like, oh I'm dead, I'm gonna get the last hits and then and then RTZ one-ups him like, you're gonna do this? No, 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 I'll, I'll wait to kill you. So right now, first night face down. I think only one tower down. It's okay for IG overall. Net worth wise, they're doing... Uh, Juggernaut is doing fantastic. DP is catching up. Very even on Fata now. Is the a bit less than Enigma, but that's what you expect. The Enigma. TA stacks is maybe the concern right yeah, now. Yeah, they haven't cleared their stacks. Not too many stacks, but there's a triple ancients here. Double engines, not too many minutes. They're still gonna build on it, but yeah, eventually the TA is gonna snowball and get. Huh. I'm wondering if it's a desolator game or a straight deck. Maybe a desolator game. They need more damage to kill stuff. Because TA is gonna be their main source of damage. And maybe. Because af after, after the stack, Pugna clears this tier 1 top, it's gonna be uh, hitting the second night phase soon, and that they could actually get Roche with the second night phase. That's so Oh, Sanking finds the TA. The um, is this a freebie? Looks like a freebie for Boca. Gonna burn, burn, burn. Now he tries to run out of it, but we'll get right click down. <laughs> OP comes in, but... Stealing range. Okay. <laughs> Some economic damage. Burning gonna come in as well. How much do you want to steal OP and Burning? Here come Cloud9. Yeah, they they really need to get this uh, Omni Search going though. He has it for already for some time. Okay. 
trying to farm his level 6 up top will be found. May get out of range, he does just barely. And here comes Burning. Here comes Burning and Baboka. The two oh. B-men. Blade 3 was used, MSS is gonna go down. Black Hole not really doing a whole lot. The Dream Call is there, Envy Omni Slash. Great turnaround from IG. Cloud9 oh, rotated was, top to push and got punished. That was a disaster to chase there. Getting a bit too greedy. Once, once the kinetic steel came down, I think they should have just ditched, but too late for that. Greedy? I've never heard of <laughs> Well, thanks, Parker. Thanks, Parker. <laughs> so, second night phase coming in. Uh, night Stalker almost level 6. Uh, is that's. TA. Oh, TA is buying it. With the glimpse, can they get this? It's level 2 no glimpse. No black hole, no black hole. Oh, they dear. really want this one. He's got another spirit siphon. Fata has an arcane rune, though. OP only now throws out the exorcism. Fata's going to go low, has a refraction soon. Oh, here comes the Sanking. He's being slowed. Arrow Strike is there. Great body block from the Eidolons. MSS may have just saved his life with that play. They were close, but not quite there. Okay, so this is huge. They wasted the DP ultimate. Oh, they maybe they'll get some damage on the tier 1, but. Definitely not the way they were hoping to use it. It doesn't look like they will. They're running out of time though. Stalker should put, pop his ult. Uh, he should pop his ulti actually now. Never yeah, mind. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> ulti up. Night face kicking in. Mm. Enigma just got his Midas, so he's going to spend time farming. He doesn't have black hole, doesn't want to fight. He has dag queued up dagger, so maybe not going to get the early rush because he doesn't have death soul. So the next play. Next play. Next play would be. What? Pogna has an Observer what? so he's gonna be... <laughs> okay... So the next play should be centered around the mid-tier one, they should take this next. DP doesn't have ulti. Yep. Taking both the side lanes. Doug ultimate still in Slam for a little bit as well, but... He's gonna, gonna have it for the fight, I think, yeah. if they want to. 25 seconds. Burning still farming very, very well. He's gonna TP towards his team. It looks like a smoke with a blink dagger picked up on Puck, but they smoke by the ward. But even so, Pilot Eye still got out. They got vision of him, flips back. And they'll catch the Night Stalker. The smoke will still connect for a support kill. Not the ideal target, but still something, considering they smoked on top of that Observer Ward. So right now, though, hmm, doesn't seem like uh, Cloud9 are too interested in doing stuff in the Night Face. They're still waiting Black for Hole down. Black Hole, yeah. Dagger, TA is close to his Dagger. Bad Rider, what is Bad Rider? He building a dagger right away or drums? No, unclear. Not sure what he wants. Oh, building yeah. an early drums might be good this yeah. game, I think, for the pack, maybe. Got some really good vision around because this mid lane. Because the Enigma has a Midas. So that guy's already like farming away. So you want, you don't want like too many greedy items. Like if you're saving for a blink, it means that during this period of time, the team is going to be really weak. So getting a drums would actually help. Uh, compensate some of the weakness there. Yep. He's coming in. Oh, They're actually no. going to go for the kill. Mr. Mao is in trouble. There is a disruptor. He's not no, getting away. Wow. He dropped the ulti for that. Okay, fine. Why not? Yeah, didn't why not? Their, didn't want their life it's a carry, you know? Every time I see a fucking I think of support. It's the hero. <laughs> One man's carry, another man's support. Uh, so that nothing a... is happening for Cloud9, Night Face. That is not good for them. That's a really... Uh, just like one of those plays where he's like, well, they're, they're mid, they're pushing, let's try and split push top, but a Puck TP with Dream Call means you can't actually yeah. get away. The they're hero not... with Blink TPing and... This is why their lineup is not like synergetic together, you know, as a team. Because this guy wants to fight at night, but the other guys are like farming away. Or Pilot are gonna eat an Omni Stash. And flat Caustic and all yeah, the venom. He should be dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's not dead. That's right. Wait, am I kidding? Black oh, hole. Wave Fury, don't walk into that one, Pi. We'll keep burning alive a little bit longer. <gasps> he's gonna get the kill, the Omni Slash. Oh my gosh. No, burning. he actually just spin and. The oh. healing ward, he's still alive for the time being. He pops the stick. Oh, he almost lived there, not quite. That healing ward, almost <sighs> doing wonders. Okay, so they got that going for them. Two kills, black hole down again. But Still can can they transition into a tower and objective? Decent for uh, Cloud9. Could have been worse. Yeah, they're not being able to finish off that Night Stalker with the initial Omni Slash. Yeah, Night Stalker is a tanky bugger. 
But after, oh, they had the vision. The Thunderstrike pulls him back in. Except does need to be a little bit careful, but... But uh, should go down here. Has another refraction. May actually be he able might to find be able his blink, way out. You know? Yeah, he's yeah. fine. He's good. He doesn't have a TP. Can they get any vision? Doesn't look like it. But... So, disrupt the ultimate down. They, they gotta take a tower now, okay. <laughs> Mid tower down. No thanks for the creeps. Um... This game's still looking to be in a pretty good position <laughs> for Cloud9. He tried, to, he tried to sandstorm the the life drain, but he has true sight now. <laughs> the recent buff. Definitely a nice improvement. Although you did lose that long pass range. Oh, when you go out of range, it actually stops right? before it still drains you? Well, the, the actual... The range is shorter The, the now, range right? is shorter, yeah, yeah, like the leash range. It, it, it's a lot... But they gave it true sight. Yeah. I guess it's better, like, rebalance, I don't know. Maybe yeah, it's yeah. better in some... Better in some situations, not weaker And bot lane... Oh. hiding in the wings. Yeah, OP went for an ulti there. Oh, they got the tower, that's what they were looking for. Uh, C9 got stuff. the tower as well, so it's better for C9. They got a tier 2, and Exorcism has been used. Yep. So they should be able to fight now, right? They have a dagger on bat, so they already passed... They are past their weak phase. Uh, but it's daytime, but Night Stalker does have darkness. Evoker really needs yeah, to they can make a move now. now. They can make like... a move with the darkness and the dagger. Sanking is not near his dagger. This is good timing for Cloud9 to try and kill someone and maybe move to the Roche. Yeah, this this would be nice for them if they can get a pick off. Let's see. I think Night Stalker and Bad Rider should smoke together with maybe the Pug. Nah, Pug might join them. Yeah, he's the first damage. Then TA and Enigma pushing out two lanes. That sounds good. We'll see what IG looks to. Right now they ha kind of have to wait for their cooldowns and wait for this Sanking Blink. Yeah, the Sanking Blink is more of the bigger deal right now. Because they can actually fight without the DP LT. There's the Disruptor, Pug and Sanking and all, uh, his dash. all those four spells are good enough for them to take a full on 5 on 5. So I think that's still possible for them once they get the dagger. Uh, let's see. The dagger on Bad Rider, should, they need to get something here. Can they get? Might be able to get a puck though. Okay. Yes, the lasso to start things off. And we're going to look for the damage out with the decrep. He's going to get the orb uh, out of there. Looks like XXS may survive, blinks away as well. Where was the nice stalker? I thought he was. Okay, he wasn't. He was at bot. bottom. I thought he was with. Uh, like I said, they, they need to move. Make the move with the stalker. The stalker and bat should work together. He should not be pushing out the lanes, and he might pay the price here. It's gonna be daytime if he doesn't run away. Okay. Push out this bottom lane. Okay. Yep, they have Desolator up on TA soon. That's when they can kind of look to secure Roche. Nighttime plus TA Desolator with the map control. Nighttime is over. They're, they're gonna have to deal with yeah, like a, a, a minute and a half of daytime before they kick in. Next. And IG may be looking to smoke and go aggressive given that the, the Sanking Blink is up to Even without it, oh, Puck. He can go in. Space shift out of that one. Where's There's the black a hole. Okay, black hole. Where is it coming? MSS has a blink. He's waiting for He's going to wait for that static storm to wear off. And unfortunately, he's already lost Pugna. MSS blinks away. And IG may want to chase. Pilot Eyes is throwing away his life to help save MSS. He was not expecting to get any kills there. But he knew that MSS may get caught by a glimpse if he's not careful. Yeah, nice talker was just late to the party though. He should be, he should already be there. He should not be pushing our lanes. They need him for the the vision because he was stuck just well. now. He could use the hunter to maybe scout or some stuff for them. Very important for the nice talker to be in the fight. And right now, night face is in one minute. Um, black hole is still up. Their saw is up. Yeah, they have to, they have to get Roshan though. They have to get Roshan. It feels get like a the Pugner really needs it, given how squishy Envy's looking in these fights. Although they may just give it to the TA. I mean, look at his see. items though. He doesn't have much that helps with his health, apart from the talent. So he's, 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 he's easy to kill. Him. He's easy to kill for sure. It's great how they use the Static Storm too. Like They don't mind using it for that first target for a single target, because they know if they don't drop it, Enigma can blink him with a black hole. But by dropping the Static Storm, you protect yourself. They straight up just went into Rosh. Daytime. They yeah. know there's 20 seconds. Two ulties down, so they kind of feel like they're strong enough. Yeah, they've got black hole. Scan will spot this one out. IG have to now talk about whether they can go for this one. Three seconds, and they've got a static storm though, so they may have to get a spot. Not this that one. fast though. Okay. This is looking like 
Roche being sorted well, for now. Quite, uh, I was quite surprised that he actually tried to do that. They need to get a pick off, like I said, with the smoke. Now the smoke is wasted. <laughs> they're gonna use. Okay, they're gonna use another smoke, so it's night time. Um, they have to try and pick off any key target. They have great vision. They have the ward on the the high ground. That was the big thing here. Oh, IG they have see not the TA. They see the TA. This might not be good for okay. them. They also see IG running at them. IG really need to drop this sentry and find this okay, ward. So the smoke is gonna be wasted. They need to find a pick. They just smoked. They're just smoking and sitting here. They're not actually pressing forward. Can IG find I'm this ward? I'm not sure what's happening now. In some and sense, they know what's going on at least. And Pugna went all the way to the bottom to push out the lane. Okay, this is okay. So another smoke wasted. Right now oh, they, they smoke on the ward. Right now they have to make sure that the uh, Roshan is there with the trap and try to push out the lanes. Force IG to defend the lanes. Well, they're gonna oh. force Rosh with the death problem, but they see how low it is. They want this themselves. Steal. They're gonna try and steal this. Night Soccer gets stunned up. He can't fly on over just yet. He's gonna fly in. Go flying to steal? No. He's being zoned out. He's too late to the party. Pilot Eye looking to bring down QQ. Has the Static Storm. Needs to try and hold on to it. He's not being picked off though, and now he's being healed up. To the south, Burning doesn't find too much. Sankin goes down. It's Night Stalker caught in the Dream Call. Oh, they have Static Storm out. though. And a glimpse back. Night Stalker will be dealt with to start things off. Q has to be gone on if they want to drop a black hole here, it feels like. Be the TA. Oh, there's the black hole. Where's that static storm? It's gonna get cancelled by the silence from the puck. Well played by XXS and MSS. Now in the static storm will be brought down alongside Fata. The chase is on as Envy and AUI. Gonna be screaming oh, that, away out that of there. Last two minutes was very confusing. Like I, I, yeah. I think C9 they were very unsure about what they should do. They felt like they had the very different ideas on how to play that scenario. I think what the other three players had in mind was probably the better move, the smoke, into they need to pick someone off first. But Fata decided that I want to do the rush on my own. I think that sequence of play actually was not played as a team for, for, for C9. They were having two decisions there. One decided that he wanted to take the rush and it wasn't fast enough and IG was able to repel the attack, get the rush for themselves and yeah, clearly not on the same page. Very costly, two smokes wasted. Well, IG put themselves in position with Aegis now in hand that they can be the ones going aggressive, setting the tempo. Daytime will come in in a minute and a half. They want to wait for that, but they may not even need to be worried about the, the daytime nighttime factor given that they've got this Aegis now. It does look like they are just gearing up to push down this top tier one tower. Bata really has to finish his BKB at this point to be able to team fight. So they should not be able to defend any of the towers now, no black hole, and daytime is coming soon. They're gonna lose, I think at the very least, two towers here. Envy shows himself mid, but... Keeping in, they want Envy. He's dead though, he might be dead. Ooh, goes, is that Oh, they didn't see him. Ooh, Envy. They knew he was there when he threw out a blast, but he Lucky for to him, uh, Pogna is very fast. Pogna is a very fast hero. Oh, he shoots himself in the lane again. Okay, yeah. Disruptor is too far. Yeah. Uh, hold on to this mid lane. Yeah, they, they know what's going on, IG. But Night Soccer will see them first. With that night vision advantage, you need to be careful. He gets jumped. Did not expect the night vision there, but XXS there, ready for retaliation. Fata has a TP but can't use it because of the Sanking Burrow Strike. Epi sent it to follow it up, and Fata gonna melt to this one. He gets brought down to start things off. It's gonna be an Omni Slash further down on Pile I Die. And AOI is just hoping to be able to TP out of here, but you can't even do that. 30 seconds. If they are splitting like this... Uh, their lineup's not really meant to split push, yeah, they're, they're not Yeah, I'm thinking they're splitting, Stalker, they're splitting but their heroes are not meant to split. They are meant to fight together with the Pogna Ward. Oh, you know it's a game with Light of Heaven in it, he's pinging shrines. <laughs> but he does that a lot? Yeah, every, every Light of Heaven game, he pings shrine. <laughs> It's his way of communicating, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, he just likes pinging shrines. So it's gonna be a couple of minutes of daytime. TP out here in one minute. Uh, anyway, rather than TPing out, is looking to be a little bit annoying, but won't even clear out the creep wave. I don't know, I think these two towers are just gonna be down. I, not much C9 can do to defend these two towers. They need their BKB on the Enigma. So they got that BKB black hole. 
quite difficult for them to play now. They have to just try to avoid and get more items. Not sure what Pugna should build this game. He has a pipe and then he's building BKB. So yeah, I don't know. Not very sure what's the best for him here. But the BKB on the Enigma is going to be a game changer. Now they actually will almost play this creep wave. Quite. Why do you want to be pushing this bottom lane? No exism just yet. How long is longer in this Aegis? It's about to expire, so perhaps no threat of any kind of a high ground push. But it does look like IG have eyes elsewhere. Boots to travel on Puck. Good mobility for that hero. So IG mid tower next. The, There's nothing much C9 can. Game. Yeah, nothing much C9 smoke. can do. Where are they headed towards top, perhaps? Uh, they're trying to pick someone off, but I think. Uh, yeah, maybe they're gonna try to pick. If they don't get a pick, then they're just gonna take the it's, tower. It's kind of a clever timing. They're smoking as the Aegis expires, expecting C9 to maybe just feel like, okay, Aegis is down. IG are not gonna go <laughs> aggressive, but a bit of a, a mind game. And they see the Enigma, who does uh, not. Everyone so close they, to BKB. They're gonna know what's happening now. Oh, oh he, he didn't blink. It. He didn't blink. Oh. He didn't know they were coming. To be fair. Yeah, but still, there's no one on the map. Like it's like a safety. Uh, okay, he, he. Okay, he died. So that's bad. No BKB. He couldn't finish his BKB. Oh, that was a very big kill. Like it's just like uh, you just don't, you just do it. You know, every time you have a dagger, you just bring away before you, just for safety purposes. Even if you. He knew they were coming, but like you say, could have hidden himself. There's no better. reason not to dagger. That. To use his dagger. But right I now, heroes, they're going aggressive now on the IG side. Right now, the ward is going to scout them out, but night time is up. Trying to punish the lack of BKBs. Cloud9, zero BKBs. They're trying to farm three time being, but until those are completed, IG definitely have the upper hand. They've got a BKB of their own completed on OP's Death Prophet. Burning continues to get more and more farm. Things are looking very good for the DAC champions right now. This would be a very tough loss for Cloud9. I mean, they could kind of shrug off their their first two days going 1 and 7, like, okay, we versed the top four teams in our group, but now it's like, this is definitely, I mean, this is the number five team in their group as far as standings go, but at some point you've got to start putting together wins. Even just individual ones, getting some draws would be something to work off, but a 2-0 defeat here for Cloud9 would really hurt their chances of getting into the main event. Oh, Mr. Ma might be in trouble. He just swapped out his TP. He's not planning to run away. Uh, they find him, but Boca Surge yeah, is I, left. Will he... I think he's going to eventually everything? find... Okay, maybe. Okay. <laughs> oh. Guesses the wrong direction. <laughs> he knew he was doing something there. Mr. Ma will be... <laughs> be considered lucky for now. <laughs> what if he just blinked there? So oh. oh my god! Oh, he blinked in the trees before he TP'd. He knows what to do. <laughs> You're saying he needs to do that. I'm not sure why he TP'd home. He just, I, guess a bit I think he mana. went back to collect some items. He got his, uh, just like a, a void stone, right? But yeah. No big loss. He wants to regroup with his team. They're actually grouping up around this mid lane. Uh, Roche could potentially be back, be back up in the next 15-20 seconds. So IG do want to play Five-man Dota. The puck can kind of split push because of the boots of travel. We'll see where IG go next. He has to be careful though. Nice talk up there either. They have yeah. tools to catch him. Lincoln is not completed just yet. Looks like this tier two mid maybe. Uh, they should just group up and mind. push. Uh, play together. No. Should no no reason to speed up. They may not want to just like throw an exorcism for a tower though, because if you use exorcism and you just get a tower, just Cloud Nine may run at you and try and fight yeah. while it's on cooldown. So I think you do have to be careful about how you use that ultimate. Okay, they are camping around their vision. Dota 101 once again. <laughs> Get a high ground ward and just sit there waiting for your enemy to come to you. Yep, but they need to deward the ward here. Uh, they have a sentry, but the sentry... They kind of expected the ward to be on the high ground, but... Yep. Cloud9 plays a rather... Un this is a more unconventional un spot for the observer here. So we're gonna give them some useful information. That could give them a chance at fighting at Roche. Cloud9, BKB Black Hole. There we go. We talked about the BKBs. They are coming online. Two of three completed. The third not far away. Doesn't get much better than this for Cloud9 as far as spikes in their strength for this game go. Yeah, this is their strongest This could be spike. the strongest they'll be at 
any major point in this um, game. The only way they can... Uh, unless they jump him first, yeah. Otherwise, there's there's no way to stop the BKB platform. Yeah. Someone like Jug just wants to blink on Enigma and throw an Omni Slash, it feels like. If they find him. Yeah. That's gonna be up to MSS to position well. They have the Night Stalker, so vision advantage on their side. Should be no problem for him to get a good BKB black hole. CQ. Could be a potential jump, they'll just grab him. Take the freebie. Roche is gonna respawn almost immediately after. It's being pinged. Oh, that this is, is good. A C9. A pick into the Roche. This is what they needed the last time. Yep. IG do scatter that. That's the good news for them. The bad news is they don't have Disruptor. Yeah, I don't think they can fight They yet. mess One around at the pit. Oh, they're gonna try? They know they can. If they delay Cloud9, they buy. They could buy time for disruption. Uh, oh, Cloud9 is just gonna take the fight here. BKB black hole. Okay. Can he get a big one? Gets the BKB off. He catches the the uh, Death Prophet. Exorcism hasn't been used here. They're gonna try and right click him down. They take out Sand King, and Death Prophet is caught in a terrible spot. Great call from Cloud9. Take the fight. Force it. They do manage to get the puck escaping. Good call this time. Like you said, yeah. Parker. Came out because they had the ward. Look, uh, the middle ward that they placed. They killed the uh, disruptor with this ops before. This ward, yep. we're getting yeah. them the big black hole here, the two-man black hole. Was all, all they had to do was make sure they could take down the death prophet and not melt to the execute. So IG took some heavy loss there. DP pop her. Was it a 10 second? Yeah, it was a 10 second behavior. It's quite a big loss losing yep. that fight. So they have the cheese and Aegis. Um, I think the Pokemon is going to be very, very annoying now. I think l when he gets his eggs and the level 20 cast range talent, so you have the 150 plus the Aether Lens plus your eggs on the Pokemon uh, ulti. Oh, that is some fun game, you know, for the Pokemon. Yeah. Do true Pugna things. <laughs> yeah, you're very strong. At that stage. Cloud9 are feeling strong. This ward, it gets not. Another ward, another pick. Two, but a third big fight for them. OP looking to use that Spirit Cycle. He's been kept alive for now. He dodges some of the TA's damage output and he's healed himself up quite a lot here. He's holding on to the Exorcism, doesn't want to fully commit to it. Oh, they got the gem. Okay, that Rider, the next is going to be the focus. They've taken out three. A great fight for IG and they didn't even need to use the Exorcism. MSS, he's being scattered by the gem here. He can't actually get away with this Invis and. Without oh ultimates, without black hole. They were, nine. I think they were a bit uh, too far there. They, the TA and the Pogna couldn't help them do damage. Anymore. They tried to focus down the was Death it? Prophet. They were how, how did close. the DP not die, right? He siphoned two heroes and he used himself, right? Exactly. And uh, the Disruptor ulti was on top. The, the siphon, I want to say, yeah, like you, like you said, it was on two heroes. Got the Yules off, he was down to like 200. And when he landed, he was back up to about 800. They're going to be on high ground with that Exorcism oh. now. One moment, Timing could not be better. One moment, Cloud9 was doing good, and the other moment... This is reminiscent of Game 1, you know. They were doing well, and then they lose one big team fight, and IG get a lane of Rax. Because right now, without Black Hole, Enigma, there's no point buying back. This is a lane of Rax. Oh, the heartbreak continues for the C9 fans. It is definitely a brutal day. If they lose brutal this Brutal three days they haven't lost. to be a Cloud9 fan. You're right. It's... It really has been the story of this series. Cloud9, they get an edge strategically, they put themselves in a good position, and then one big IG team fight. Definitely give a lot of credit to IG and some I mean, of their decisions. You, you say IG team fight, but it was actually Cloud9 jumping on them. The bad rider went in. Yeah, in daytime. well, IG, like, I guess they, they, they counterplayed it. You know, like Puck went in, he got a dream call off. Yeah, it, it wasn't even heroes. IG bringing the fight to Cloud9. Cloud9 yeah. were the ones making the move without a black hole, and they, it was no black hole, and it was daytime. Those were the two key components of their. Okay, Rock. I got a pick here. Has got a Lincoln Sphere, but has not got his Blink Dagger up for the time being. Bat Rider looking to chase after him. Oh, they see him. He's probably screwed. Scepter gets uh, the Blink okay, away. Puck the doing Puck things. Has got Lincoln's back up now. AUI can't even grab him. The worst possible hero to run into there. If he didn't have a Lincoln's, it would have been fine, but. Fortunately for them, the Lincoln's preventing the Bat getting the jump. And IG can happily let this T2 tower go down. They do not care about defending this one. And Aegis TA, something they do not want to fight into. And most importantly, the Exorcism OP, waiting for that cooldown to come back up. Feels like Cloud9 have to be careful about how they play this one. Again, it's it's a game of these ulti cooldowns. You, 
one team uses their big ultis, wins a fight, then the other team looks to force a fight while they've got theirs and their opponents do not. And it was IG who got yeah, the, the they, bigger prize. The, the bigger thing, the other bigger thing was they lost the gem too. The gem was very crucial for them. Yep. Now they don't have it. It's Pretty big, big gold, gold swing. I mean, that, that big drop in the gold graph is largely that gem. That's an 1800 gold swing. Going, oh, uh, here we go. Way. IG is running in, but Black Hole is up. Okay. Yeah. He, if he's not the first one getting gone on, then I think C9 can still win yep. the fight. Definitely agree. But so, it looks like he's going to be the first one. Oh, so he wins away just in time, but the Sand King's there to follow it up. He may just need a BKB to get out of here. He does do oh, so. Will he go for the oh. black hole? Okay. Just the Sand King being brought down. I think he almost maybe could have gone for it, but still. Cloud9 may want to chase, but they do have to realize this black hole is not reliable yeah. without a they, BKB. They, they have to, but they still need to be very careful because Sanking, they are one man down. Sanking's dead. Yeah. And that's also their main initiator. Puck with an Ag Scepter, by the way, so we will see that BKB piercing stun. If you snap oh, out of it. If you Ag. That could affect someone like MSS if he wants to. Oh BKB. yeah, think about it. You just find him, you call him, and just your job is done. He can't be. He can't blink out. Uh, if he, he can't even be. I mean, he, he can out. black hole on the spot if yeah. the fight is near, but he can't, he can't jump move outside of that. Yeah. That is a good point, Parker. Well played. XXS is very farmed. He's t level 23. He's kind of playing a lot more like a mid puck right now. It feels like he is the true core hero of this game, and you could see that. 20 GPM kicking in. I uh, hear a black hole. I see a little bit of a black hole. Burning. Found. BKB from the TA. Yep. Observer what? Scouting black him, hole. farming the ancients. This is a spot that a lot of carry players die. I'm not sure if you notice this. This spot here. Farming this ancient. Yep. First thing is you die here, you give away rush and they push high ground. <laughs> Burning may just have to buy back. I think they might be able to hold though. They have a lot of wave clear, puck and DP. And TA clear. doesn't have BKB, so without yeah. BKB, without Aegis, that did expire. I, I think, think Bata is they exposed. can hold this. They are going to take some damage because of the Nether Blast. They actually don't know if going to engage on this one entirely. Envy. Oh, uh, okay. They're going to buy back maybe. But you need that buy back. Envy's just going to have to be let to die, it looks like uh, here. Envy with a BKB, but the physical damage should be enough. The Dream Coil was there to stop him retreating. IG, can they get more is the question. TP out, barely gets out of there, but Vogue just saw him a smidgen of a second too late. Highlight die shrines up on an Observer Ward. T totally underestimated how important was the BKB on TA and no black hole. They can't fight, they can't fight at all, even it's four heroes. Enigma has a Malefist, but that's really the majority Midnight of what he can offer. Midnight Pulse. Yeah, can do some damage. Some damage? Come on, dude. That's painful. Percentage base. All damage. Not bad. People Not bad. die in the pulse. Not bad, okay. Yeah, they didn't die there. <laughs> Gonna push back the other way. They don't have X, but they don't seem to care. They want to fight while Black Hole's down. TA. Getting stunned up. Fata may have to pop his BKB. Does do so. But Boca gets the nice ghost up drop. And Fata in the BKB loses the Omni Slash, but it comes back to him. Park finishes him off. AUI force the BKB away from the defusal of Burning. Gets the lasso on Burning now. Epicenter coming in, being queued up, but Boca comes in. Big Fata is in trouble. He fought back. It's a dieback, and Cloud9 in a terrible spot now without a TA for some time. They may lose AUI as well. XXS playing a hell of a puck. Uh, that's probably it's just going to run over them. Unless they can find out, they can wait for a black hole. They are quite far away from it. 30 seconds still for MSS. He pops the BKB. They will get the Sand King. They may be able to save their racks here. Burning is very low. Okay, OP does not have able, exorcism. I should be able to hold it. Yeah. But like they'll hold their racks that is bit. very crippling, the, oh, the dive man. It's more or less like the game is half over. It certainly feels that way. It is tragic to see for Boca coming up big there with his epicenter and also just the ability to force out the TA's BKB and then take zero damage from it. Ego Scepters, Burning, Omni Slashes almost, or does end up killing him, although he didn't, doesn't get the kill himself. I'm going to say XXS on this puck is to me being the, the MVP of this game. He's just been split pushing, controlling the team fight so incredibly well. He's insanely fun. He's just been fantastic. IG want back in. They do have to worry about Black Hole, but they know there's no TA. And with Exism up, this is a 20, 30 second window where they can push. If they get Black Hole, there is no TA. He can just TA. pretty much coil him. 
Let's and they kill this death proper. They're trying to go when he needs to get the spirit ciphers off. He doesn't get a chance to do so. And MSS will secure the first kill. Rax is down. Rax is down though. You're right. That was a, a black hole for a Rax. Well, a black hole and the death prophet. <laughs> a black hole for a Rax. A Rax. You know, black hole, but the Rax got claimed. <laughs> You know it's been a long three days, okay? Just 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 chill. Sorry, you know bro. what I'm trying to say. Sorry, bro. bro. The death profit kill? You know your death profit used ulti anyways. He's he's not very useful without it in some way. That's on Tyler. <laughs> Come on, dude, spirit siphon, yeah. Shivas. It's good it's a good spell, we saw it earlier. Oh, Cloud9 would have loved for Roche to be back up there. Bet TA with no buyback. Seconds wants... before Roche is up. And ninety seconds before Exorcism, so they will be able to perhaps go for that. They have to. Puck, level 25, let's go. Yeah, he needs to just go and call the Enigma. Like, just blink behind, whatever. Like, when they were taking the Rex just now, for example. Just blink behind. Yeah. And up, like, you can send yourself, like, a up behind and just blink to the enemy lines and call the Enigma and just join up. I think he just didn't expect the bat to just jump as quickly yeah, as he did. He it was... happened all too fast. Yeah, too fast, but as long as uh, he calls the Enigma, they can safely take the Rex. I mean, that's scenario, even if he coiled the Enigma, that that would pull the Death Oh, yeah, into yeah, it, that's so too, yeah, yeah, that's true. It would not have, it would not have saved it. But there is the uh, Octarine now in Enigma, so the lower cooldown on Black Hole. He would love a refresher, though. He really wants that. The lower. I'm surprised to see the GPM talent on Enigma. I feel like I almost always see cooldown reduction. Yeah, I think when you have a Midas, the cooldown reduction is better, because yeah. it reduces the cooldown of Midas, too. Absolutely, that's why I'm surprised. I feel like, right, like you say, like 90% of Enigmas are... Yeah, this is the only one I've seen not go that build, but... Still, the goal is still... I mean, It's slightly more than you'd get from the Midas, but the thing is, the cooldown reduction isn't just your Midas, it's all Everything, your spells. yeah. Black Hole could have been up a little bit sooner. Every little bit counts. Roshan back up, and IG do not have Exism just yet. Okay, they do. Just, just came up that second. Pucks. Annoying split push down bottom is going to keep dragging Cloud9 back to that lane to defend as well. It really feels like Cloud9 has very few options but to try and contest this Aegis. Bato wants to find They have license. very few options but they don't have a choice. If they don't contest the Roche, the Rex is gone pretty much later. They want to buy back on the TA, so. This is their last bet, their last roll. They Gem have gets, to get the rush. Gem gets passed over to OP as Puck Ooh, looks to pick Octarine up. Ooh, call. Well, I was about to say, was, he had the Dagon 5 queued up, but he gets the ah, Octarine instead. I... Why Usually this? the Dagon is the common thing. If you want the shorter cooldown, you could just he could have just gone to Refresher for a double Dream Call, I feel. This is like the, you know, the tanky build. Yeah, he's tankier, he gets the, like, the spell, spell life steal. So it's not really about the, the cooldowns as much, like you say. He just out. wants to live through the back holes. Just JK, you can't live through the back holes. <laughs> I don't know, I think his job is just that I, I would like the... I would prefer the Dagon. You go behind... Dagon, Dagon on the, the Enigma and just get out. That's what I would like to do as a pot. He knows they're all around that Roche area. Roche is back up and he's just going to constantly go bottom. I mean, the cooldowns all help. Like This is actually a short like 33 second cool cooldown on your boots to travel. All those things do add up with the Octarine Core. Dagon. They guns add up when you taser the enemy uh, multiple times. He's not got the slots for it right now. I guess Yule's scepter could be slotted out. A use is quite useful. Yeah, everything is quite useful. The Lincoln's <laughs> helps against the bat. Buy a moonshot for burning. How's that sound? Great. Sounds fantastic. I'm on board. Buy a moonshot for himself. He's split pushing, man. He, he almost killed that shrine. <laughs> Buy a Desso. Buy a Necro 3. Back to the Roche standoff. Cloud9 kind of shown themselves in this mid lane. They are, I think, very wary of the fact that Fata does not have buyback and a death on him could spell defeat right now. He themselves smoked up. Need to not lose death from the side of the fight, but at the same time, there is a buyback available. So they can. They died to a black hole. They can buy back here and they're going to jump in, kill the Pugna, start the fight off on their own terms. Instantly. Aoi, BKBs, full retreat, IG, do they dare go for Roche, and they did commit an Omni Slash for that one, Pilot Eyes in the neighborhood as well, does look like Cloud9, he has to try and steal this, come on, do it bro, 
trying to maybe time it perfectly. Uh, he needs to go. How soon can he get in there? He needs to go now. He seems to know it well. There's no trap, but he's just going to guess this one right. He does perfectly. Can he do it? He does. Highlight eye. Oh, that is a big steal for him. Got the cheese as well. Oh, he got the cheese too? <laughs> he does that blind. That is... You know, that is just some sensei shit right there, you know? He just... He felt it. He knew it was coming. I mean, even if he didn't get the steal, he had to do that. His buyback. To keep the game alive. That was... Some ballsy play. To get that timing right without a TA trap is impressive. IG though, even with that play, is still looking to break high ground. There is a BKB black hole, unfortunately for Enigma, and only one. Time to maybe sell that Midas, if you could get a refresher. He's still a little bit short on gold. You can probably sell the Sol Ring, I guess. Sell Sol Ring, sell Midas. He's, what, 5.3 is refresher? Ah, uh, math is difficult. Yeah, 5.2. <laughs> Close. Oh, use your Midas. This is definitely the stage where you sell that Midas to get it. Use your Midas, sell it, and then sell your Soul Ring, and I think he has probably just about enough for it. He may also just want buyback as the other thing. So but buyback is like slow death, you know, if you, have, yeah. you, ha if you have to use your buyback. You're not going to win the game that way. You, you can win the game with a double black hole. Well, at least win a big team fight. Not defending top. What are they up to here? Pushing on out. Letting creeps chip away at the buildings a little bit here. Success is just getting more and more farm through his GPM now. Did we buy the Moonshot for... Oh, they found him. <laughs> Can they kill him? The Octarine called the Sans may wear off. There's oh the shit, he's he so tanky. Sleep here. Tia is there waiting. Uh, okay. They got him with the Lasso and they got him with the Night Stalker, but he is still alive. So that... With that said, it means that the only way they can kill him is with a black hole. I was just about to say black. If TA was there during the lasso, I think they'd kill him. Uh, that that would have worked. Uh, TA with a melt. I guess oh, he yeah. has no armor item. I could see that at least being close. They weren't even close. They got him down to maybe like half health. But with TA there, I'm pretty sure that'd be enough damage. TA with a crit, sure. Kind of maybe depends on that. But... 12 9. Are uh, really up against the ropes here. Puck, <laughs> the puck is just split pushing. It's, it is slow death. I mean, you mentioned like using buybacks is one way for slow death, but this puck split push is another way for the slow death to happen. <laughs> he's taking shrines. He's taking the oh, huts. This puck is so, <laughs> so infuriating. They're drawing lines. They're like, let's go kink him again. But they really I want a black don't hole think him. they can kill him. <laughs> they find him, but yeah, I don't think they can either. MSS is very close oh, to this refresher. Oh, Arcane Rune. Death Prophet with an Arcane Rune. Chris was scouted out by the TA trap. Where is that refresher, MSS? Yeah, very I think he can get it now. Sell Soul Ring, Midas, buy refresher. Just the Soul Ring being sold will be enough for it. Yeah, they should. They should get the refresher. That's their biggest chance. Or maybe even only chance to win the fight. Ah, definitely on board, because IG can have buybacks. If you throw a black hole... Okay, they call him. Hit the racks. Okay, can they do this? They then initiate in up top. Enigma will be coming that way. Has the BKB black hole. Goes in looking for it. Catches just one. Is it going to be enough? The death prop, they're trying to focus her down. They will get the initial kill. But now, there's no black hole to play around. Head back Buy to the, the refresher. Yeah, buy that refresher. You need it. The Disruptor Ultimate going to lock down the pug in place. No buyback for MP. Found oh, he's not buying line. the refresher. Has a cheese. He's just not able to offer a whole lot. AUI just watching his teammates melt here. The buyback's now kicking in. Where is that refresher? Oh, he, he buys it. it now. He's got the second black hole. The racks. It's dropping fast. He's got to find a way to get in there. MSS. He left it at home. He may catch them by surprise. Problem is, he's being zoned out here. Can't find the black hole. We'll do so now. There it goes in. Black Hole catches two, but it's too late. As fast as being brought down already, and the GG is called. Cloud9 get taken out in this two game series, and they are now one win and nine losses in their group. <sighs>
Tá feito, Luz. Very tough. Very tough indeed. That was. The lineups have, have been very unconventional this series. Yeah, I mean, this tournament, it's one of those things when you are struggling in the group stage and you're in this position, you often feel the need to maybe experiment and try something new. Yo, but if you're last place, yeah. you never, you don't get a chance anymore. Or pick some of the heroes maybe that the top teams are doing, like LFY, so they need to start getting some wins because for Cloud9, they are on the brink of elimination. They do still have the other bottom teams in their group to play. I think that is the good news for Cloud. As... Uh, Hellraiser's Execration and Digital Chaos. So the other three teams who are bottom four with them are the teams they still get to play. So there is still some definite hope for Cloud9 fans out there. Do not panic just yet. As Cloud9 will be playing more Dota later today. Uh, we'll be casting some more Dota actions ourselves, but we are going to take a break. Myself and Winter will be uh, passing over the reins to the next casting duo, and we'll be making an appearance on some other streams later on. We'll catch all you guys later. Don't go anywhere, or if you do, go to the other Twitch streams to catch all the Dota 2 TI7 action to catch a link.